is not a very happy life. That is a horrible place to be in. Now I know plenty of people that do not need to be in such a bad place. Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped right. very much that it was. You know, after this playthrough, I think I'm going to switch to some uh, Binding of Isaac, perhaps? Rebirth? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he yeah. entered the door on his left. How yeah, about that? I'm not going to be following your Yet orders again. not a single person here either. Room closet? Of oh. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, come on! Let me in the broom closet! I need a broom to bat you with! I need to beat you over the head with a stick until you just make me not have to go your directions! Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, look at this! Very crushed velvet, very cheesy wallpaper. And look at this! He apparently is rich because he has velvet curtains. Oh, look at that plant. That's good looking. Oh, a piano. No, it's a keyboard. Office, Stanley was once yeah. again stunned to discover not yeah. an Shut of up any human two eight four five. Could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing. Stanley was yeah. in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That nope. kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So he yeah, that's what I was talking about. With some calming new age music. <sighs> oh. I need Derby's but to fart on this dang thing. Just fart into it and just get it done. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I think I accidentally killed the game. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, with a trap door that allowed me to walk over it. All right. So, land of loading, 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 loading. Well, if I'm going to play Five Nights, which one is it going to be? One, two, three, or four? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mine uh, Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. You really don't like the living, do you? The door behind Only someone was could be shut. so obsessed with death Stanley if they were a zombie. Opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Um, no I would not. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Uh... A death, you say? There can only be cake down here! I'm gonna find the cake! You know what? Following your orders and oh, Microphone being bombed! Oh, there we go. Adjusting my seating arrangement. As the machine uh -oh. whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected so is this that his like life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Cast with Quake 4. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief right. life. You really love killing things, don't you? Ah, there it is. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, oh killing him goodness. instantly. This is rated E or is it rated teen? 
The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Okay, got that? myself into the room of credits. Already dead from the moment he hit start. And room of credits and every effect, every button. This is a nice little dev room. The credits, written and designed by Davy Redden. Oh, I read that wrong. Ha ha. <laughs> and Will William Poor. William Poor. Sorry, I'm really bad at these names. Additional other design, you know them. Colin Eddings and Jack Parsons. Ritual music and everything else in here. I'll put on here for a moment. So, dev room aside, I'm gonna walk through here a little bit more to see how things look. Screens from the development of the boss's office. Wow, he actually did use all the textures. Office clock. That's on the side room. Employee lounge. Underground. No version of the underground portion of the game. Okay. A narration now takes. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded dialogue for the for the entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of development. These are clips from any takes that were own when they were not used in the final game. Look for the outtakes. Find the outtakes. They're in the air of sound. And they're not exactly So much for outtakes, I was expecting something more along the lines of messing up a line. So, just a little bit more exploration to see what I can or cannot find in this, um, freedom thing. Wait, the game's alpha. Oh, probably for the mod. Same thing. Countdown desk. Um, the original the countdown ending. Modern room elevator. Oh, hello. This is ending? Of the ending known as Zending, which was eventually. Co oh. What do I do? I even need to get this. <gasps> oh! Oh, I can't pull them! Escape menu. Hold on, I'm reading this. For a long time, we had an ending that only ended when the player was started from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realized that this is what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. I'd say that would be pretty dang frustrating, but just a little bit. What the? Next time I'll wait. Because Manny isn't exactly the wife I was looking for. Words, words, words. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by the words. War zone. Okay, then. That would have been interesting. Alright, I think I've done exploring the dev room a little bit. Is uh, it it? Uh, that's it. Okay, so, I think it's time we switch games here. And we quit to the menu. And we quit the game infinitely. So, as I get set up, give me a moment to get things arranged. Yeah, I didn't die, I restarted. 
your exact freaking obsession with death and suicide and killing is bordering on the worst abhorrent range of any existentialism I have ever had the inconvenience of knowing. Someone was following Stanley. He was sure of it. If he checked over his shoulder now, he would surely catch them. It was only a matter of time. Yeah, there's no one over my shoulder except a Discordian butt flap. <laughs>